welcome to atcm the emergency medicine channel uh, today's our topic of discussion parkinson disease and then amyotrophic lateral sclerosis it is from the neurological emergency so first one we'll see the parkinson disease so what is mean by parkinson disease parkinson is the most common neurodegenerative disease so in later in before part we discuss regarding something uh, demyelination uh, disease like uh, or multiple sclerosis and then gulen uh, barry syndrome those are the demyelination demyelination disease right this is a degenerative no degenerative nerve disorders so it characterized by the lesion in the basal ganglia more predominantly in the substantia nigra so mainly parkinson disease it is one of the nerve degenerative disorder it will affect it will make a lesion in the substantia nigra so the next question is what is mean by substantia nigra so substantia nigra is a small crescent shaped cell mass in the brain stem so one of the crescent shaped mass in the brain stem so here we have a, what are the major functions so, so it will act as a it will regulate many cortical functions so it will regulate the cortical function so what is meant by cortical function so it is a cortex is one of the covering right so in kidney also we will tell cor outer portion is a cortex inner portion is a medulla the same thing only so depending upon the lobe so depending upon the lo uh, location the cortical function will differ based on the frontal or uh, parietal or temporal occipital that function will differ so the cortical function mean that include our motor sensory visual so those are the things language so everything will comes under the cortical function so it is regulating the cortical function mean the same time it have a dopamine nucleus so the dopamine nucleus takes part in the regulation of motor movements reward function and then chemical signaling so if any disruption or if any problem happen in that center means that will affect your motor sensory and then it will affect the whole system so it based on that it, we told it is uh, uh, takes part in the cortical function so based on that location if uh, uh, degeneration happen means that portion of the brain will affect that means based on that uh, portion of the brain it, it will show the signs and symptoms clinical presentation will arise so assessment wise the four major clinical presentation the person will have those who have a uh, parkinson disease first one is a tremor bradykinesia rigidity and then postural instability or gait so these are the major four things you can remember r t b t so r means rigidity t means tremor b means uh, bradykinesia p means postural instability or gait so we'll see one by one first one is a tremor tremor in initial uh, stage of disease that will occur in a unilateral so one side only it will occur when the disease progress it will affect the other parts also so in the first stage it will affect unilateral side so the movement of the tremor wise rest tremors so tremor we know it is a abnormal um, uh, shaky movement of the hand or limbs the, that is called the tremors so it is a involuntary movement right so the rest tremors even when the person in a resting mode there also they will have a shaky hands or shaky limbs that is called the rest tremors postural tremors tremors postural tremor means while doing a changing in any positions so and then pilled rolling tremors so it, they will um, the the nature wise they it seems like a pilled rolling uh, that will be there and then abduction and then adduction of the thumb abduction means away from the body adduction means close to the body close to the midline so abduction and then adduction of the thumb also will be there that is comes under the tremors so here you can see the resting tremors and then here you say you see the postural tremors so while moving your hand while changing the position the person will have a postural tremors so and then uh, second one is a rigidity so rigidity in upper limb there will be a separate rigidity lower limb so in upper limb you will have a cog wheel like type cog wheel take a tremor and then in lower limb we will have a lead pipe uh, type tremor so cog wheel means so this is the cog wheel so while moving the person's upper limb we can feel the step by step movement so cog wheel move like a step by step right so the same thing while moving in person's hand 
so we can feel the step by step movement but lead pipe in lower limb you can they are describing as a lead pipe type so lead pipe type means so it is a strong rigid pipe so the entire motion there will be a some type of restraint or some type of a difficulty will be there that is a lead pipe uh, movement in the lower limb cogwheel type in the upper limb and the next is a gait so the initiation of the walk will be in a slow manner short steps will be there reduced arm swing will be there impaired balance on walking postural instability that leads to the falls and then injuries so in bradykinesia slowness of the movement will be there handwriting wise micrographia micro means that is a small letters so if you see in the handwriting means that will be a more uh, small in uh, the letter will be in a more small and then it will be in a um, chaotic manner so that is a micrographia and then it also includes a slow blinking soft voice and then decreased facial expression so additionally these persons have a symptoms of depression dementia difficulty in swallowing uh, speech impairment fatigue and then dystonia all things will be there and then they are more risk for death because of the aspiration pneumonia falls and then complication due to the uh immobility so this is the clinical picture so how the person will be in the parkinson disease so you just make a initial impression what are the things we are seeing here first uh, see the position of the person here he is bended something forward so a, a tilted forward motion so forward tilted of the trunk and then you can see the joints so here we have flexed elbows flexed and then wrist flexed uh, hip and then knees so all joints are flexed in manner so here you can see the how he is taking steps so it is a short steps and then shuffling walk the walk will be a shuffling walk because of the impaired coordination the gait problem right so because of the uh, shuffling walk short step will be there tremors will be there in the so as like we told tremors resting tremors pill rolling tremors hand tremors everything tremors will be there in the person so these are the clinical image of the person the most important thing the face wise you can see the masked face so management uh, in pre hospital it is mostly related with the supportive management and then mainly we have to hear remember is a if any injury happen because of the uh, postural instability means that we have to manage because of the fall if the person have any injury means then from the transport uh, to the definitive care we have to take in our related with the trauma related care and then we have to prevent the further more fall or uh, we have to suspect this person they are more prone to fall so we have to uh, previously predict and then we have to manage that case and then we have the person they will be in a some degree of dementia so that is also one of the symptom we noted there so we have to reorient the person uh, whenever needed and then compassionate gestures can be very helpful patient education also we can do in hospital mainly that is we told because of the dopamine deficiency lot of problems will occur so we are supplementing the dopamine let us say levotoba uh, levotoba it is it will restore the dopamine level so it is a dopamine precursor so other medication omentadine to improve the bradykinesia so again if you remember that we told four major characteristics first one bradykinesia that is managed by omentadine and then we told tremor rigidity and then one more is your um, gait problem postural instability so for tremor and then rigidity we are managing with an anticholinergic for uh, postural instability gait problem we are managing with an uh, that uh, regular exercise and then other options uh, diet modification surgery mainly for postural instability uh, that weakness of muscle we are managing with an routine exercise so this is regarding the parkinson disease and then second condition is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis here also this is also one of the known as a lu that amyotrophic lateral sclerosis this is known as a lu corkic disease lu corkic disease so it is strikes the voluntary motor neurons it won't affect the sensory neurons it will specifically affect the motor neurons in specific voluntary motor neurons so uh, which are the things under the voluntary uh, voluntary control that will affect the only voluntary because voluntary means what we are doing with our uh, based on our disease so movement of our muscles upper limb lower limb so that portion only it will affect 
mainly the cause is exactly not clear but the one uh, theory states that immune system that will selectively attack and then kill them so immune autoimmune related things uh, this condition is more common in the middle aged men of any race so without any race it will affect everyone assessment wise initially in this condition it is a subtle subtle means not easily noticeable it will be in a confused manner without any being noticed it will occur fatigue and then general weakness of muscle group fasciculation and then difficulty in doing activities like eating writing dressing will develop because we told it is fully related with the motor activity so it will affect only motor neurons so motor neurons means whatever activities we are doing that will hold whole thing it will affect and then the person also feel difficulty in speaking difficulty uh, in a walking and then moving of the arm speak everything will occur and the speed of the progression of the uh, clinical presentation that will differ based on the persons okay from the person to person it will change again uh, the person will completely aware of aware of his or her surroundings so he is aware of all about things but inability to move that will occur so if something fire uh, or electric uh, circuit happen something uh, in their home means they are aware about that condition but because of the disease they are unable to escape from the scene that will occur in the case of because of that uh, thing a uh, lot of um, problems or lot of injuries will occur to the person so as the destruction of motor neuron continues you eventually pass patient are unable to breathe effectively without ventilatory support because it will affect the movement or it will affect the motion of your intercostal muscle diaphragm everything it will affect so patient will die from the respiratory infection or other complication related to the immobility the average person diagnosed with this condition dies within 3 to 5 years so management also pre hospital follows the standard care guidelines in the neurological emergency so you have to think about the uh, glucose level and then we have to think about that uh, hypotension related thing if anything is there we have to treat and then we have to think about the oxygen level assess the patient ability to swallow and then monitor the airway closely uh, the patency of the airway should be uh, taken care so these are the things we'll do anyway in the primary survey so again for this condition we have to keep in mind and then patient may rely on variety of home medical technology because of the inability they were uh, aided with uh, some other uh, technologies like a feeding pump and then iv pump long term iv access port and then ventilator so while transporting uh, we are uh, familiar with that means we can use something uh, that is new for us means we can ask the help from that Uh, who is familiar with that so maybe bystanders or who is attending the person they are more familiar with that equipment so we can ask help from them if needed some equipments like feeding pump and all we can discontinue uh, while transporting and then we can transport the person so and then ask guidance from the family if needed uh, then discontinue and then we can shift the person to the definitive care so in hospital wise supporting the vital function they may undergo some physical therapy to strengthen remaining neurons and muscles medication can be given to mitigate some of the symptoms so that is not a complete cure won't be there we can mitigate uh, something uh, some symptoms we can there is in hospital management is fully symptomatic management however this condition have a no no cure no definitive uh, cure will be occur so do your best shallow